Hey, yo, what it do? It's your boy T. Wayne, man. Check me out live on the Dirty Deadly Podcast. You dig? Gang. Yo, Dirty, what's poppin'? It's your boy Starter Camp checking in one time for the one time. And I am back with another Dirty Daily Podcast. And bringing to the Dirty Daily Podcast today, I have a brother, I have a friend, I have a legend in his own right, you know, because in my opinion, I feel like he's a legend because he's he started some he started some movements with the with the uh, uh song that you may know of called Nasty. I got my brother T Wayne in the building. T Wayne, what up, boy? What's up with it, big dog, man? Yeah, so, so T Wayne, man, we're gonna get right into it. Like, <clears throat> you're funky, man. You've been in this business for a long time. I actually saw a post that you posted the other day uh, of your young self by the green box. T <laughs> 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 Wayne chain on. Um, yeah. How does it feel, man? How does it feel being that you've been in this business so long? And how does it feel to see yourself as a young T Wayne to, to where you're at now? Man, it feels good because uh, back when I posted that, I was still in high school. That was a high school video. But when I see, like, my progress and, like, how much knowledge I learned since then because I learned, like, a lot. And I I learned, I realized how many mistakes I made and how to, how to maneuver through the industry now. Like, I'm really, like, I'm really proud of myself because I'm, like, I used to be real – stubborn you know what i'm saying but now i'm just like i'm just on this on this on this on this thing where all my energy is going to learning so i feel like i learned so much stuff throughout throughout these years and i feel like my career disappeared for like three years but i feel like it was meant for it to disappear because i wasn't right mentally and now i like got myself together you know what i'm saying and i and it's time for me to make that approach back into the game, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I found myself, like I found my sound, I found myself and I know what I want to do with my life. And I feel like it's the perfect time for me to approach the game, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm I'm proud of myself. Like I'm real I'm real happy and excited. It is. And you yeah, and you, you know. seem you seem like you're in a really good space, man. Like even during the pandemic, man, like imagine that. Like a pandemic and 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 we're still in it like since March yeah you know what I'm saying a lot of people Crazy. um I know we talked earlier about it but a lot of people are out here performing shows and you told me you're not even really doing any shows right now like how's that how's yeah. that been yeah I'm not doing I, I ain't doing no shows with with the runner going around I'm too scared like I gotta I gotta be safe because you know I got a family at the end of the day so I'm trying to be Try to be safe. I still be out. I be outside, you know what I'm saying? But I don't be doing nothing crazy. I be outside though. But you know, people some people have to do shows. It's they 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 source of income. I know a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, they wasn't ready for the for the pandemic to hit. So like you gotta get it how you live, you know what I'm saying? You gotta mask up. I'm just, you know, I just stay on the internet. But once once the corona hit, it actually helped me figure out how to get even more money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It helped me reach my inner hustle so now i'm like hustling hustling but i'm doing it all online and it's i just learned so much new stuff to make money so i'm like the corona can last forever because i'm it's helping me come up with ideas like you know what i'm saying yeah no that's right i ain't one of them people that just that just sit here and be like damn i'm gonna wait till it i mean i ain't gonna lie the first month because i thought it was only gonna be like a month or two that was, that was cap when they said it was, you was going to be outside quick. I thought it was going to be like a month. So right. I, I really just sat down and watched Netflix all, all day, every day for the first month. And then until I seen it wasn't coming back, then I started, you know what I'm saying, I started grinding, getting to it. Hmm. I mean, you know so, so, so being, that you, being that you were staying in the house and you had, you know, you had a lot of time to, you know, basically uh, – dissect the internet and figure out because of course you were already making money on the internet just from you know different things that you would do on the internet as far as just your music in, in general but like what's one thing that you've learned or what's one stream of revenue that you've gotten now opposed to before the pandemic i ain't gonna lie on uh man i'll be doing i do crazy stuff like i do whatever i do whatever it takes to like to get my name out there or to get an income, like say for instance, when it before the pandemic started, I did not like TikTok. Like I wasn't on it. Like I just did not believe in it. 
Mm-hmm. But once the pandemic hit, like after a month, I seen all these little kids booming and people's music plat going uh blowing up and going platinum. And right. that's when I just, you know what I'm saying? I humbled up and was like, shit, I'm finna hop on. Right. I hopped on the TikTok wave and my music and everything shot up. You know what I'm saying? Like, and people people be down at down in TikTok thinking it's lame and shit, but like you can make a whole income off of just blowing up your song or blowing up your music off of TikTok. Cause people go, once your shit blow up on there, people go to the to the streaming sites. Right. So that's a whole whole little revenue, you know what I'm saying? And I got on YouTube real hard. Right. But that TikTok, I got I boost I got up to like a million followers in like two months or maybe a month and a half or something. But that TikTok helped help me out a lot. You know what I'm saying? And it helped my income even more. You know what I'm saying? How did you feel about the ban? Like, how do you feel if they ban TikTok from the U.S.? I know they were talking about banning it from the U.S., but now they're saying that they're trying to find a company that's going to buy it here in the U.S. from uh, China. But I don't know how that's going to work. How do you feel if they, what, what, what would you do if they banned TikTok? I mean, I would, I would, I would obviously be, I would be kind of, because I already don't fuck with Trump. Like, I would be, I would be pissed. But, like at the end of the day, I'm a hustler. So if they banned it, I'ma figure out what I mean, I said banned. If they banned it, I'ma figure out what I need to do to, you know what I'm saying, find another way to blow up the music. Cause I because I'm on every single uh platform like Facebook. I found out you can make man, you can make so much money off Facebook. What? I found out how bro, you can make more money off Facebook than YouTubers like and rappers like you can make you can make that bag on Facebook. I found out how to do that. I found out how to make money on YouTube, the streaming, TikTok. Man, it, it's so many ways to make money online to where it's no excuses. But right. yeah, if they if they if they ban it, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. The, the phone. If they ban it though, man, I'm just going. I'm going to another site. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm a go make some you know money else, elsewhere. Where, yeah. where where one door closes, another one opens. So I mean that's that that's that's definite. Like that makes sense. Um, I feel like I feel like you you really established a lot of things in the beginning, right? Like let's say for example, uh, back when back when the the nasty song first came out, and first of all, congratulations to you on getting out of your deal with uh, 300. I'm sure you know. I'm sure there wasn't no bad blood. I'm sure you you know you guys came to to agreement on, on, on good terms. Um, I'm hoping, mm-hmm. you know, was that, was that, mm-hmm. a, was that a good, was that a good situation? When you left 300, was that a good situation? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big real shoe. Uh, shout out, shout out to my dog, Salim. I still talk to Salim to this day. Okay. Um, uh, you know, he was the one that, that found me for 300 and, uh, shout out to Salim. <clears throat> shout out to Salim. I love Salim. He a real dude. You know what I'm saying? When, uh, whenever I tried to get out, he actually worked with me. He said, "You know what, Wayne? I ain't gonna hold you back. I want, I want the best for you. Like, I want to see you succeed. So, whatever you decide to do, you know what I'm saying? It's cool with me. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, he was like, I want you to spread your wings and fly. That's how you feel. You feel like you want, you don't want to be in a deal no more. That's fine. And I, I really appreciate him for doing that because, like, a lot of you know, you know, people ain't letting letting artists go like that. Man, trust uh, believe you me, I know." I, I didn't think he was going to do it, but you know what I'm saying? Because we, me and Salim, like, for the past few years, we, we, it wasn't naturally me and him, but it was just a lot of stuff going on in and out. Nothing, nothing that he did, but, you know, like on my side, back and forth with their side, just a lot of stuff, like, you know what I'm saying? And where to where my side wasn't happy, they wasn't happy, just a lot of stuff going on to where I just stopped dropping music. I didn't even want to be, rap no more. Mm. A lot of crazy stuff, but you know what I'm saying? We look past all that and we 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 family, we cool, you know what I'm saying? Um I just talked to him like last week. So good. No, that's good. Yeah. I mean, it, and I feel like that's it's commendable of you and your character and your stature as a, as a man for one <clears throat> that you can own up to your mistakes and and be able to, you know, really just say, "Hey, I was wrong. There was things that y'all did that I didn't agree with, but mm-hmm. at the end of the day, 
that's what family does. Family, you know, has disagreements and we decided to just, you know, not necessarily end the relationship, but just, you know, this business venture that we're in, let's just separate it for now. And, you know, who's, who's to know if you was, if you were to come back to 300 later on down the line, you know, well, but see the crazy part is when I was with them and half of the stuff, like, which I really owe them an apology because it was people in my ear that didn't know what the hell they was talking about and like telling me to do this and do that, telling me that they was doing me wrong when really they wasn't. When I see other artists that are signing deals, like which every deal isn't bad, you know what I'm saying? When people be like, you gotta go independent. Every some some people are not meant to be independent. You know what I'm saying? Some people need that extra push because they don't know what the fuck to do with themselves. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I felt like I had a whole label and I had somebody in my ear telling me, don't use them, don't use the budget, use your own money. Da 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 da. And then I see Kanye come out, hey. I don't spend none of my own money. I'm using the budget. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. I never, I never, when I say I was with the label, I never touched the budget ever. Wow. Oh, for everything, music videos, everything. And they was telling me, you can, why would you use your own money? I didn't realize, because because this fool was in my head, I didn't realize that I could have touched the budget and the, as much money as I was making and making, it would have paid, it would have paid right back. You know what I'm saying? Right. Hmm. Like say for instance, I did a feature with with Ty Dolla Sign. I did a feature with him a long time ago, like two, two, two or three years ago. And uh, the when I did the feature, uh, the label it wasn't him. It was the label that came back when I tried to release it, and they wanted to charge me. But the dude that was in my ear, the dumbass was in my ear saying, "Hey man, don't da 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 da. You ain't got this da 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 da." No, I had I actually had the money to pay, right. but. He was like, don't use your own money to pay. But his fucking dumb, I'm really mad when I'm talking about no, it. No, this dumbass this dumb 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 nigga, man, <laughs> I could have used the budget to pay it instead of using my own money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause it like me, cause me and Ty is cool. Like that that honestly didn't have nothing to do with if somebody signed like when they when the label or some shit go behind you and make hit the artist up and like, hey, you gotta pay that. That don't got nothing to do with the artist, you feel what I'm saying? But right. yeah, this goddamn dumbass is telling me, man, they, da, 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 da. when I could have just used the budget use and budget. I could use my own money and I would have been good. Crazy. It's bro, it's just so much stuff that I learned from labels that I didn't know right. back then that I know now that I, if I was with a label, I would know what the hell to do because I actually had one of the best deals in the industry. Nobody had a better deal than me. And I, they made me feel like I had, the homies made me feel like I had a dumb deal. I had a good deal. Right. But yeah. That it was, is what it is. We've grown. Yeah. We still shining. You know what I'm saying? We still rocking Gucci hats and, and Ricky is. Wayne shining in, shining brighter than a motherfucker. So we definitely ain't gonna, <laughs> we ain't gonna give too much energy to Dan. You know, Dan, you know who you are. Uh, <laughs> but uh but I mean nah, I I I, I fucks with you because you you're real open about your situation, bro. And I can and I can commend you for that because like a lot of artists, bro, they so lost. You know what I mean? A lot of artists that get in the business, they be like, I'm gonna just listen to Dan, I'm gonna listen to Dan and hopefully I get somewhere. You feel what I'm saying? But you, yeah. you find yourself to be like, hey Dan, shut the fuck up. I'm I'm gonna just go ahead and focus on what I need to focus on, get my shit done the right way. No, no doubt. But nah, I feel like I feel like with you, bro, like you you kind of pioneered uh, uh, a time of of the viral challenge, you know what I mean? If if I can say that, you know what I mean? Maybe maybe you weren't the the first to do it, but in my opinion, the nasty song kind of pioneered in the viral challenge. You know what I mean? A lot of artists started to go and reach out to influencers and get dancers and get uh, uh, choreographed dancers and and actors and people to do some type of video challenge to a song mm -hmm. almost based off of the, the concept that I believe in my heart that you almost started. You know what I mean? Um, I think I think it was a time where now you're at what? Almost a quarter of a billion views on YouTube with the Nasty Record. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that song has touched <clears throat> hearts and souls and will continue to touch hearts and souls for for eternity. You know what I mean? So that song, yeah. that song in itself, like when you first made that song, did you ever think that it would be as colossal as it is now? 
Now, when I first made the song, I just made a normal song and I listened to it every day. And then I did like what I do with all my other stuff. I just make videos to everything. Literally every song I make, I make a video to it. And whatever blows up, it blows up. And I just happened to make a video to that song with the with the homie, Vanilla Trill. I have <clears throat> I happened to make a video with him and it went viral. But before that, we was making videos to every art every artist's song, like making their make their song making their songs go viral. Right. But artists wasn't reaching back telling us thank you or nothing. We was like legit making artists blow up off of that and nobody reached out. And then I did my own song and it it took off. So it's kind of like you took the concept of what the challenge, the viral challenge is. You already had that concept in your head, applied it to your song, and then it, it catapulted for you. Now, a lot of these other artists, it may not have catapulted for it, but in, yeah. in essence, it catapulted for you. So it's kind of like good karma. You know what I mean? Like, that's definitely like some good karma. Um, so what is your relationship like now with, with the Bandit Game, Marco? Like, I know... That originally was his song, um, the nasty, the nasty song. Um, but what is your relationship now with him? Uh, I haven't, I haven't talked to him in a long time. But uh, I don't have nothing against him. I'm pretty sure he don't have nothing against me. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, whenever I did the song, I didn't mean no harm. I didn't mean the song to blow up. I just was making a song, and people, when I made the song, people said they like it, and they were the only reason that I even put the song on iTunes was because my fans that I had, they was like, we can't listen to the song, it ain't on Apple. That's literally the only reason I loaded it up on there. And then a week later, I get a call that's on the charts. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I wasn't even trying to get on the charts or nothing, but um, no, nah, I ain't got nothing against them. I like, I, I like, uh, dude, dude, very talented. You know what I'm saying? He got, um, his music, he sing and rap. Dude, talented as hell. Right. You know so what I'm saying? But yeah. So so this new song, so this new song, uh, this new song that you have out now, right? Delilah. What yeah. what what sparked the what sparked the notion of making this this almost uh country rap trap rock ballad twerk song? Uh <laughs> no <laughs> No cap. One day I was just uh man, I be asking like you guys ask the homie, like I just be I be coming up with so many ideas and you know, I own the studio out here. So we got like hella producer. I literally, I literally tell them a different idea like every other day. And I told them to switch something every day. Right. Like, and they, like, and they helped me with all the songs. So one day I was just in the studio at the crib. I was in the studio at the crib and they was up at the studio uh, by the gallo. And uh, the idea just came in my head, like, throw oh, that ass with me. So I called him. I was like, hey, we need to make this joint, G. Like, this whole, this whole hit, G. Like, we need to make the joint. And they was like, say, look, they made, they made the beat in, like, 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And, that, yeah, they, they sent it back to me. I recorded it overnight. And it, what it sounds like right now, it didn't sound nothing like that. Like, it was, it was, it was fire, but I had a whole, I had a whole different, like, those verses that were there, the yep. verses that are on the song now, I recorded those verses for another song. And so I had the hook. It Man, the song just was, you know what I'm saying? I be having, whenever I make song, every song that I do, I be having to cut it up and rearrange it, put this there, put this there. Like, when you hear my song while I'm making it, yeah, when you hear my song when I'm making it, it ain't gonna sound nothing the same like when you hear it. And I even took it to the studio and they like did the beat. I was like, we gotta fix the beat and do all this, um, all this other stuff. And we did it. We like, we like make art out of out of the, out of my music. Like Amen. we legit paint the whole picture out of everything. See, let me ask you that because I I was posed the question not too long ago about the missing art in music, you know, nowadays. And I feel like I feel like with music, um, as an artist, quote unquote. You know, a lot of people who call themselves artists or rappers or musicians, um, you're doing an art form, something that I feel like a lot of artists, of course, are passionate about. Where do you feel like we lost with the, with the, with the music business or not even the music business, the music uh, space as a whole? Like, where do you feel like we're missing the art? Like, where, where, where is the missing element of the art in music right now? 
Uh, people ain't trying to paint the paint the picture no more. They only worried about going viral. Mm. Which, which I'm not. Which I have nothing against those people because I used to be one of them. I used to only care about going viral. So it got to the point to where every single song I was making was to was supposed to be the biggest song in the world. Every single song I made. Now, now that I realize, you know what I'm saying, what I really want to do, I just want to make music. Like, I just want to paint the picture. Like, even if, if it's a club song, I go, I really go off of how the beat is. Like, right. if, it, if, it, if it's a sad beat, I'm rap sad. If it's a club beat, I rap. Like, it ain't no telling how I'm going to do it. I just go off of how the beat is. But, yeah, a lot of people, they just made it about going viral and wanting to blow up, and they don't, they don't take it serious. It's to the point where... People are just saying dumb shit on purpose. Like, yeah, you don't have to say dumb shit. You can dumb it down, but you don't have to be a dumbass. You feel mm. what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's how that's how I used to be on my songs, which I can't. So I can't blame them because I saw how my first song blew up, and then when I thought about it, I was like, bro, this song didn't blow up because I was being that, a dumbass. Like, mm. this song, I it blew up because I was being a musician. But it sounds like it sounds dumbed down, but that's just it was just the art. The, the picture I painted it dumb down. You know what I'm saying? Right. You so I just assumed I need to make everything dumb, but you don't have don't to do have that. To. And, no, no, and that's a good way to look at it too, because like I mean, the art that is is in music now, um, I feel like, you know, with 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 the TikToks and with <clears> the <throat> Instagrams and with all social media platforms that we have, we can still enhance music the way that it can be to where people can appreciate it but we just need to weed out the bad apples that are kind of like making it not complete appealing uh, for a lack of better words, making it not appealing to the eyes or to the ears as it should be. Yeah. Um, and it, I, and no, go ahead. Go ahead. What you say? Go ahead say what I was going to say, and it's not even, you know, like some of the people making TikToks, they might have the worst song in the world. Uh -oh, song. They're literally making that song from their heart. It mm. just sound dumb as hell. That's why it be blowing up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now some people just got talent and they can make that. They can make that shit like, like this one dude I know. He can make that shit like this. Like it ain't nothing. But he a writer and shit, so it that shit ain't nothing. Yeah, no, nah, and that's the thing. Like, uh, like the art, the art of a lot of these, a lot of these songs. When you make a song, and sometimes even the TikTokers will make the song better you know appealing to the audience than the actual artist you know what i'm saying like yeah, the one really. guy the uh what's his name the nick the nick guy that does the news when he does those little dance videos the weatherman the weatherman that does oh, yeah, dance yeah. videos when he does those dance videos it makes me like the song a little bit more when i see him doing the dance videos than when i hear the actual song by itself so i mean it, it's it's all about the art at the end of the day yeah. um, so, so like now that we're where we're at you got a new project out it's called Free Agent, right? Yes, sir. Free Agent. Now, now, of course, we know what kind of inspired the Free Agent title, um, but what what did it take when you were in the studio? Like, what kind of mentality were you in when you were in the studio recording this project? Uh, for to record that, that's just when I just felt like I had to be myself. Like, the whole project, I just felt like it was me. Like. I didn't I didn't go off no trends on any song. I didn't try and make a viral song. I didn't do none of that. I literally made every song as in I'm just whatever the beat is, that's how I'm gonna make the song. So I went out the vibe and my first song on there, it's called Ugly, my first song on there. I made it to a beat and I deleted the beat and then made the beat around it myself. Like I literally I feel like I'm literally painting pictures on songs now. Mm -hmm. Like that's how I feel like I'm an artist, like a real like like the studio is my, the, the microphone is, you know what I'm saying? The paintbrush yeah. and I'm painting that bit. Like I'm painting, it. you feel what I'm saying? That's facts. No, and, that, and that's a beautiful thing, man. Like I think, I think right now, um, a lot of people need something that has a lot more thought in it. You know, you, you, you want to have, of course, like you make fun music, you know what I mean? Even in your video, like you may not seem like you're having fun, but the ladies behind you are definitely having fun. Like, <laughs> and in your mind, I know that was a thought out process. Like you were literally posted like, like not phased by the situation, which is, which is dope in itself because 
I think you're trying to send a message to a lot of guys out there that you don't have to be phased by the booty if you got the game. You know what I mean? If you got Yo, the game, hey. you can get the booty regardless. You ain't got to be all up on her in the video. Yo, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like like what Shook Knight said, you don't want somebody dancing all in your video. Let the girls dance. You ain't got to be in yeah. the behind me. So, like, I get where you were going with the concept, and I love the concept. You know, just you know, relaxed and player is, is the way to be. Um, but nah, like I think I think that's what we're missing. Like I think we're missing the fun in in, in the music industry as, as a whole. Um, now I think with one thing that I saw you uh, you do recently, um, you've been doing your TikToks and you've been sharing a lot of videos, right? What is uh, what is the funniest TikTok video you've seen to this new song you got so far? Um, uh, the funniest video I've seen to the new song. I'm sure you've seen a lot of them, but if there's one that stood out, where what what is that one that stood out to you? I don't know. I I haven't. I'm I'm gonna just I'm gonna just be honest. I haven't been like nobody. Like they haven't got my attention yet. Well, then see now y'all 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 heard the man himself. If you haven't heard the Lila, go get go first. Go listen to the Lila. first. Go watch the video, then go listen to the song by yourself. Then take your time to think of a concept to make a TikTok video to it because they own TikTok making videos to the song. I, I ain't gonna cap though. The the only one that stood out, I'm not saying it, it got a lot of videos, but the one that stood out is mine because it's just Facts. it's me just sitting like this. Facts. And that and that is slick going viral right now. Like I've been seeing a lot of people saying uh different captions like uh, when they say you out with your hoes, and <laughs> or say when they say, when you say when you say that you uh when you when you when you with your girl or when you leave your girls to go be with your other hoes and you're with your other hoes and it's really nothing different. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. When uh when your girl say she out with her friends, but her friends are out with you. Yeah, that was the one I saw. That's yeah, it. That, yeah. That, that's, it. That's, that's it. That's it right there. That's funny though. That's funny. So yeah, nah. Like I think I think one thing we got to do is definitely uh. We definitely gotta we gotta get these people to hear this song. Uh, make sure you go and get uh, the new project, Free Agent, out now. Um, executively produced by T Wayne himself. You know what yes, I mean? Sir. Uh, my dog, my dog T Wayne, man. Listen, one thing I know for sure is you're gonna figure it out, dog. Like you've been doing this oh, shit yeah. long enough to where you gonna figure this shit out. You gonna make sure. And 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 I know you gotta you gotta you are you're, you're a new well not a new father but you're you're, you're basically a new father, right? Mm hmm I got a uh, four-year-old. And how's how's father how's father life been for you? Man, I love my boy, man. That's my that's my dog. I don't really get to see him that much because I'll be like, you Work. know, with doing <clears throat> yeah, because you know with doing like music and doing all that stuff, it's like you gotta constantly be trying to make something pop off. So it's like it takes away a lot of time, which I wish. I have more time with him, but I I feel like when he gets older, hopefully he understands that, you know what I'm saying? Everything I'm doing is for him. I'm not doing it because, like, I don't want to be with him. Because if I could, I have him with me right now. Right. But, you know, I'm like, you feel what I'm saying? I never I never did babysitters or we never did daycares, none of that. So it makes it. And now it's, he getting to the age, so pretty much he can start coming with me pretty much anywhere, though. Right, you know but you, when you when you when you're one, two, three, four, even sometimes five, like you wanna you wanna it's like the the kids are sacred, you know what I mean? You wanna keep them yeah. as much as possible, and I totally get that. Like if there's one thing you could tell your son right now, so that he knows that you love him, what would you tell him? Just I love you, boy. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, for real, I would tell him that I love him. Like he, my son is my world. Like he, like he mean more to me than I mean to myself. Like. So you feel like he's like, matured you a lot, like so. yeah, like him. That's that's my dog. Like you know what I'm saying. I just wish I could spend more time with him. But it's, I mean, the luckily his mom. If any time I say I want to get him, she let me get him. Like off top. Right. And then I got I got another one on the way. Oh, congratulations! That's beautiful, man. Yeah, I got another one on the way. Procreation at its best, man. My dog T Wayne. If you're looking for babies, man, T Wayne is the guy. The guy. Hey, I'm throwing him out there. <laughs> <laughs> The baby gonna come out. Your baby gonna come out posted up doing this to to Delilah. <laughs> <laughs> My dog T Wayne, man. Let them know how they can follow you, man, and where to go get your music at. Hey man, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, everything at T Wayne, man. 
the music on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, just search T Wayne is there. And uh when I say I got some of the hardest, uh most creative music out there, I'm not lying. Go listen to it because you will become a fan. If I lie, I give you a hundred dollars. See, he said it. I'm gonna text him my cash app right now because I might have to uh <laughs> try to give me a little change, you know what I'm saying? Nah, my dog T Wayne in the building, man. Hey man, much success wishing to you, brother. I wish you the much success. And um and yeah, nah, this is Dirty Daddy Podcast signing off. <laughs>